He transversed the globe to prove that cultures can be connected through language. Now an ongoing exhibit at the Smithsonian's Anacostia Community Museum highlights the work of Dr. Lorenzo Dow Turner, the first African-American linguist. Patricia Vallone has more on the story from the district. This is, this is the uh, map of the coast, the Gullah Coast, where Dr. Turner worked. He went from uh, island to island, uh, carrying his 100-pound uh, recording machine, recording people speaking, singing, telling stories. Born to a family of free slaves, Dr. Lorenzo Dow Turner was among a unique group. Handsome, debonair, and extremely intelligent, Turner set out to document and trace the origin of the Gullah people and their language in the 1930s, an isolated group along the Carolina and Georgia coastline. His discovery that Gullah was actually a Creole language and not just bad English, you know, that uh, black people in South Carolina and Georgia spoke uh, bad English as it was thought at the time. He really researched it in depth and found out that it was a language that was based in about 35 African languages. There were words from about 35 African languages. There were uh, grammatical constructions from many African languages. Mm -hmm. Goma. Through an exhibit called Word Shout Song, Turner's research demonstrates how a community is connected through language. The Black Seminoles were gully slaves that fled from South Carolina and Georgia in the 18th, 18th and early 19th century into Florida, which was at the time a Spanish colony, and they joined the Seminole Indians and became part of the tribe. And they, of course, were removed to Indian territory. A group of them fled from there to Mexico, and they eventually went back to Texas. So there are now communities of black Seminoles in Texas and Mexico. And they speak a language which is called Afro-Seminole Creole, which is a kind of ancient Gullah. Lorenzo Dow Turner discovered in his work that speaking Gullah was something that those people weren't proud of. And it had a lot of impact on self-esteem, as did the whole scourge of, of racism. And so it's, it's really an important element of any person's um, background and self-esteem to, to be able to look back into their history and into their culture and be proud of, of where they, can, they come from. Turner's pioneering work established that people of African heritage, despite slavery, had passed on their cultural identity through words, music, and story. Patricia Vallone, CTV News. And much of the late doctor's research is still relevant 80 years later. An accomplished linguist, Turner studied various African languages to make linkages to the Gullah vocabulary. He also spoke Arabic, Portuguese, German, French, and Dutch. You can catch the exhibit on his life and work until July 24, 2011. For more information, call 202-633-1000.